Welcome everybody to my Star Fox Let's Play. If everybody does know, Star Fox is a 3D rail shooter. And it's Blast. I'll let the trailer play so you guys can get a little backstory. Because it's a pretty cool trailer. This game was a childhood favorite of mine. I played this all the time. We need your help. Star Fox. Andros has help. declared war. He's invaded the Lilat system and is trying to take over Corneria. Our army alone can't do the job. Hurry, Star Fox. Long story short, some evil guy is trying to take over the Lilat system. The Lilat system is a bunch of series of planets that you visit and you have to go and stop them. Here they're introducing the characters. Falco, good old Falco. You'll see why everybody loves Falco in all other games, because he's <laughs> he's a character, right? Each three of them, you don't get to play as anyone except Fox, but uh, they all have their own like voice lines and stuff, and you have to try to protect them while the real shooter is going on. blast off there. Star Fox 64. So that was the gist of it and the first planet we go to is pretty much that planet that was in the trailer there. There's more backstory but I want to get to the action. Show you what this game's about. It's about time you showed up Fox. You're the only hope for our world. I'll do my best. Andros won't have his way with me. Oh jeez, those animations on Fox's mouth. <laughs> wow. Alright, let's do it. Fox is such a cool character. Open the wing. He just got that swag to him. System. Uh, sure. Whatever that means. Falco here. I'm Falco's Fox. just the head. <laughs> yeah, same with Peppy. This is Peppy. All systems go. They just didn't want to put a whole body, so they just put a head, floating head. <laughs> I'm okay. Ah, oh, Slippy. I see him up ahead. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Corneria, former army base. Mission 1. Let's do it. So I can spam A to get a bunch of little shots. Or I can hold A and it will charge up and it will home in. And you shoot that and you get a nice combo. <clears throat> I already know where most of the little secrets is and who to, who to save at the right time. Like Slippy there getting attacked. I was already ready for that guy coming. <clears throat> this game's also very replayable because it's all about the high score you get and how many kills. Where's the ring? There it is. The gold rings, if you get three of them, will increase your health bar. And just normal gray ones just give you health. Or health. I say health, but repairs your ship. These things with the L on it just basically means you get two shots out of your normal gun instead of one. Which you do twice the damage pretty much. He says use the brake, but I'm gonna just do the backflip instead. Now I could go for that and get more health, but I like to get high scores. Get as many kills as I can. Checkpoint in case I die. Here comes the save the Falco one. Now the key here is if you speed up, you can actually get a lot closer to them. Oh no. There we go. He's got half health, which is kind of crappy, but after each uh, mission, they recover some some health. 
you just don't want them to die because some missions require them to be in there to help you out. <clears throat> You'll see what I mean when uh, I get back to the planet screen. So there's a little secret here. If you fly through all of these things without hitting any of them, Falcoa will show you a different way, an alternate way of uh, going. So normally you would go down that path and there would be a boss, but he takes you to a secret, secret boss. And this is how you get to uh, harder planets. There's multiple ways to beat the same game, which is amazing. Like, you can pr pretty much pick and choose your path. I'll show you once we get to the, the planet screen again. Now I want to kill them because it gives me a repair if I needed it, which I don't. Boss coming in. Incoming enemy from the rear. Drop altitude. Yeah, I was already. I'm already down here. I don't want to get hit by that ship. Enemy shield there we go. As you can see, the boss has a nice big health bar. First, we got to destroy his parts. Basically, have to aim at certain boss uh, weak points. That thing comes off. That thing comes off. Aim for the open spot. And one left. Falco just flew into my shot. And you just rail this guy. I'm trying to hit me with that beam, but I saw it coming. We're Starbox! I do a little backflip here because it makes the animation look really weird in the cutscene there, <laughs> as you can tell. <clears throat> Whew, first planet done. It looked like I just flew through uh, Slippy there, but that's okay. Mission accomplished. <clears throat> so at the end of each mission, you'll get a mission report from everybody. They'll give you let them die. They don't really die, they just go back and like, get their fixed ship, but they won't be there and they won't be in your next uh, planet. So as you can see, Falco keeps his... he gained a little bit of health, but he's he's still hurt, so the next map we play, he's gonna be injured a bit, and I gotta keep an eye on it, on, on him. So the way this game works, like I said, with those different paths there, the normal boss would have took me downwards to the asteroid field, but I'm, you can go upward. You can change course too. So I, since I unlocked the harder version, I can choose to go the easy path and go down downwards to the asteroid field, and that'll take me through the. If you do something, I think it's the the hyperspeed, then you can jump to the middle planet there, that small one in between the in between them all. And you basically make your path all the way to the end, to that green ball way on the right there. And that's where the bo boss is. So I like to go the hard course, because these ones are a lot funner. But I will be playing the other maps, because they're so unique and it's amazing, this game. I'm on my way. We're under attack, he says. What else is new? Fierce melee. Always love these little cutscenes at the beginning to get you in the mood. God, these like robot things are creepy. Is there is that a robot or is somebody in there? Or what's going on? I don't know, but we're in space now. Let's go. Sector Y combat zone. Mission two. Let's back up the squadron. This one's hard to get Nobody's hard high, high score on, sorry. Because uh, they move so bloody fast. I'll do my best though. Ooh, a bomb. B ones are bombs. Can't remember if I mentioned that, but I can press B for a bomb. But I, I usually like to save them for a big group of enemies where I know I can't kill them all. I got a nice charge waiting for a group if they come. 
There we go. Coming from above. That's where I chuck a bomb because I got that whole left side and some of the right side. Pew, 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 pew. So satisfying shooting down ships in this thing. In the R wing. No, they're shooting at me. I can barrel roll and it'll deflect bullets. Which I will have to do. Oh, coming from behind. Go there. Shoot those other ones. Give me anything? No. Sometimes if you kill a certain group of enemies, they'll, uh, they'll hook you up with sometimes a ring or a bomb or the thing to fix your gun. This way I can actually choose if I want to go up or down. Let's go up. I'll take care of everything below. Well, this is Falco's side. Maybe I should have went down. It's okay, I'll protect him. Oh, Slippy's here too. <clears throat> Getting a, a homing thing ready to go is usually how I like Please, to do it. Because it lets me know where they are. I'll use a bomb there because there's a gajillion of them. Now these turrets also count for points, so I'll try to hit as many as I can. That face there is the last hey, boss, pretty much. I'm on your side. Oh. Falco, don't fly into my freaking fire. Jeez. We're gonna break through that fleet. It's a lot more punishing uh, on the second round because if you hit something, you generally lose your wing, and then you're pretty much screwed. And I usually hit them there. I'm surprised they didn't. You know how long I haven't played this game in. Sometimes you'll get uh, somebody hook you up with an item. You gotta hit the box. Nice. Hit that. Perfect. Something's up ahead. Looks different. <laughs> Slippy took a bit of damage there, but the boss isn't particularly hard. When it says all range mode, it's no longer a rail shooter. You're actually uh, controlling yourself. I'm gonna use the mini map to let me know exactly where those goombers are. I'm gonna say goombas, but I said goobers. I mean, I said goombers. <laughs> Falco, don't die, I swear. Gotta be very careful not to hit Falco. That was like a mini boss. This is the actual boss here. But uh, he's a. He's a pushover. He just moves really fast. It's uh, kind of hard to see him. I'm gonna flip around. Again, I'm using the mini map to see exactly where this guy is. I can see his boost. He's somewhere there. Jeez, he moves fast. I'm gonna turn myself around. As long as Falco doesn't get freaking kill, I swear. I did some good damage there. So he's chilling on the ship, he let me know where he was, and he pretty much sealed his fate because he stood still. The hardest part about that boss is just he fucking jets around like a maniac. Yay, we saved Falco. And I think the next mission is a water one, so they don't even actually have to be there. Yeah, Aquas. There you go. So you almost get a free free world for let to let them heal, so these guys should all be full health by the time I need them. Oh damn, look how close he is from dying. Is it every 50 or 100 you get a life? I'm not too sure. I think it's every 50. Because some maps only have 100 kills. Not even 150. I 
As you can tell, they all have medals on the planets as well. That means I've gotten the high score, the recommended kill amount, plus having all your guys alive. It's how you unlock uh, pr pretty much the hard mode. Here we go, Aquas. I'll just stick on this path for now, the the hard one. Yes, sir. Aqua's ocean. Damn, this thing can swim too. Oh yeah, don't they like give you like a submarine or some shit? It's been a while since I've played this game. I remember some things. Like most of the bosses and how to kill them, but the map's not so much. Oh jeez. Yep, we're in a submarine. Let's go. Oh yeah, you got unlimited uh, torpedoes, so I'm pretty much going to be spamming that the whole time. Because I think they home in on the stuff if you... Uh, yeah, they do. This one's a pretty hectic one, as those starfish like to explode if you don't kill them, which I don't know how I didn't. I'm going to preemptively try to shoot them before they... Whatever they were trying to do to me. Oh yeah, the torpedoes have such a big uh, radius to them. They're pretty much like bombs. I'm sending the data to you guys. Nothing dead. I have no Shoot idea. Shoot a torpedo to help you see. Shoot a torpedo to help you see. I've been spamming, so don't worry, fuck Looks like the pollution has started. <laughs> Clam shoot at me, whatever these things are. We live in a strange system, okay? Oh, you yeah. can only torpedo those guys. I see. Oh, keep spamming at it. Kill that guy, he's worth uh, plus three hit. Which pretty means, pretty much means four. Now, is there anything worth me killing these things here? Nope. These things are coming at me, I don't know the why. Blue marine, the Blue Marine, that's what it's called. It's a good thing you prepare for why don't you just call it a submarine? It's not really that blue. Oh, damn. I don't think that was supposed to happen. <laughs> that's okay. I didn't realize these things can actually hurt you. Learn something new every, every day. God, it's so dark. Um, I think the game wants me to barrel roll. Yep. They give you hints with the with the audio, so it is good to pay attention to what they are saying. Checkpoint. There's a big fish over there or something. I'm just gonna stay low. I can't kill that guy fast enough. Um. Do I need this? Look out behind you! Look out behind? What do you mean? I'm gonna break. Get Keep right shooting! Behind this We've guy. got lots of torpedoes! Kill that big fish. You're the best, Flippy! Oh wow. Come on, torpedo. Thanks, puppy! Okay. This thing will never hold again. It looks freaking hectic as shit, and it is. <laughs> Shit's exploding everywhere. Like, these uh, starfish do so much damage if they explode on you. So I'm really trying to stay away from the middle. Because at least I can just kill the left side and... Oh, there's an explosion. Ouch. Look at that thing. That was so much damage and it barely even was close to it. Speed up. I can't remember if I need to speed up. I'm gonna break. Yeah. I did remember rocks falling there, so I was kind of aware. It's not worth me shooting that fish, he's not gonna die. I was wondering if you can deflect the, those ones. Whatever you want to call it, the balls that they're shooting at me. 
God, there's so much fish. Shoot a torpedo so you guys can see. There's the boss. Jesus. He's a tough boss if you don't know what you're doing. <clears throat> I like to aim for these top things first because they spawn enemies. But you basically uh, shoot at the column and then hit it with the torpedo. You gotta do it for the other side too. You don't have to shoot the stuff at the top because it will go away eventually. If I can hit the next uh, thing here. There we go. Perfect. Uh, i shoot these balls before they uh, hurt me. Now uh, you just gotta hit a torpedo on the eye. Not this thing, whatever that is. Man, this thing looks like something out of Zelda. Two more. Yeah, we're getting nice good timings on uh, these torpedoes. Ah, it's hard to get a torpedo through sometimes because there's so many of these uh, cannonballs they're shooting at. Damn. <laughs> Just let me kill him. You want to kill him in a certain amount of time to get more points. Yeah, I got the, the plus 10 there. That one's a bit tougher match. Match. I said match. World. Planet. We're preparing to dock. We're preparing to dock. I would not want to take a boat ride on this planet. And is this planet just like all water? Like, damn. Is there any land to it? Thanks a lot, Peppy. I'll take the sky any day. I was actually shocked to find out that Slippy's actually a boy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Comment if I'm wrong, but I'm like 99% sure Slippy's a boy. Even though my whole childhood I thought he was a girl. It's the voice, but uh, yeah. He's a boy. There's your fact for the day. Next planet. And you can see the how the line is red. That means it is the hard path. Like I am taking the hard path. Now if I remember this map is kind of difficult because you need to shoot certain things or you won't advance to the next uh, hard planet. You have to hit all the spotlights. You'll see what I mean. Again, like, is this planet, like, all water? Like, what, what's going on? Toxic waste area. Okay. Let's sneak in low and surprise them. Jeez, there's a lot of them off the bat. I, can't believe they I think these guys only die to bombs, so that's why I was chucking bombs at them. Plus five is a lot I hear worth you, for a bomb. Yeah, watch out for the searchlights. They give you a warning, but you actually have to shoot these things or you won't advance to the next hard planet. As a kid trying to figure that out without internet back in the day, like... I never knew why I couldn't advance to the next hard planet. It's because I would always freaking miss one or they spot you. Improper slip. Got you, honey. There's a, somebody trying to ride my tail there. That was rude. Following your father's example. Ah, uh, almost got all three. It's pretty hard to do that. We're closing in on them, Falco. Cat. She's like an extra character that comes and helps. Take the right light, I have Take the right light. Cat, what are you doing here? It's actually funny because she stopped shooting, so like she says take the right, but she doesn't hit that last left one, and it can screw you over so hard. Slippy, help me, help me slip, shoot him, shoot it. Holy Loch Ness, oh my, 
forgot that's how you change the camera. I would hate to play the game like that. Holy shit, what the... That was too close. This one's hard to hit because he's... Oh, I got okay. I think if you save her, yeah, she shoots them for you. Oh. Most of them. I just went into the water, that was crazy. You see that? Aim for the rudder, what the fuck does that even mean? Oh, that thing. They're showing you a mechanic, pretty much. Because there's one spotlight here that you need to do, which, again, that's a hard one if you don't know what's coming. Did I not press it? Oh, it would have been just a bomb anyway. Enemy, Enemy tankers. I think these blocks actually count as for it kills. Someone's behind me, so I'll do the do that. Jeez, those boats actually moved. I made it. I almost ran into that. Isn't there, yeah, I thought there was something there. Go slip, go. Enemy fighter spotted. Take him down. Go, oh, cat, go. I need help. Not really. God, my score right now is so high. 200 kills? Jeez. Jeez, so many platforms to duck and dodge. And what is that? Yeah. Did I hit all the searchlights? I think I did. Get, get off, Falco, please. Oh, more searchlights. Oh, Falco. So, like, that's what I mean. If you didn't have Falco for this, this map, like you would lose because Falco pretty much saves you by hitting hitting those searchlights for you. Because you wouldn't have been able to hit them on your own. Unless you were a god. Yeah, boss time. This one is... You just spam bombs at him. It's a pretty fun boss. Oh jeez. I forgot he shoots at you right off the bat. I like to be a bit more up top because you get a better angle at shooting. You have to shoot those arms off first and then one of those. Drop the crane now! Drop the crane! Oh, unfortunately I don't have any bombs to hurt the crane. Shoot it. Done. Gotta rack in some bombs here so I can properly kill that thing. There you go. Destroy his last cannon there. God, Steve the pirate is trying to kill me. Yeah. Again, like some of these bosses, as long as you know what to aim at and what you have to do, it can be pretty easy. But hard mode on this game is like, one of the hardest things I've ever played because you hit one thing and you lose you lose your wing then you're off balance and you only have one shot instead of a double shot and you pretty much can't hit anything oh Falco likes cat or something where'd you go nice racking in the kills